This is Daughter of Christ to the Protected Group. You must stay away from camels when you pray because they are created from devils. If you think this is a ridiculous statement, then guess who said it? As you spend long hot days forbidden from even a drink of water, imagine how sad it is to realize it's all for nothing and the person you've been trusting with your soul was just an ignorant Bedouin speaking nonsense. We'd rather you discover this in this life. So look at this hadith. The Prophet said, do not perform prayer in the camel's resting places, for they were created from the devils. This is a Hassan hadith from Sunan Ibn Majah, number 769. So now ask yourself this. Question 1. Who created the camels? Isn't it Allah? So why would Allah use the devils as ingredients for creating camels? Question 2. If Allah was happy to handle the devils himself when he was creating camels with them, then why would he mind if those camels are around you when you pray to him? Question 3. If Allah is a good God, why does he use devils to create things? Question 4. What makes your prayer to Allah acceptable? Don't you expect the real God to care about more important things, like your heart and your sincerity? Why should Allah care if camels are around you or not? Does this not seem ridiculous to you? Question 5. Camels were very important animals to desert people at the time. They provided transport, milk and even food for them. Camels were part of their everyday life that everyone depended on. So why would Allah create camels from devils, knowing they would be around his prophet every day? Question 6. If camels are created from devils, then why did Allah's messenger eat camel meat? Does that mean the devils in those camels ended up in his stomach? And if you can't pray around camels, then why was it okay for him to eat them? And why did he even advise drinking camel milk and camel urine for healing? Does that mean the devils they were created from are nutritious and medicinal? Last question. Do you really believe the real God uses devils to create things? What kind of God has devils in his toolbox? As you ponder these things, may the Lord Jesus Christ empower you to leave those fairy tales behind and draw you to himself. Amen.